Hi, betting experts. On Saturday the 14th of May, we've got seven races on ITV on Saturday. The best of the action from Newmarket and Newbury. Drying, quickening ground expected at both tracks with the weather forecast set fair, particularly in the south. We start off with our betting expert, Daily Nap goes in the 2.45 at Newbury. This is the Bet Victor London Gold Cup handicap, a class two for three-year-olds only, over a mile two. And I'm going to give another chance here for Israel for John and Thady Gosford. Now, this one was extremely heavily back for his seasonal debut at Newmarket last month, but I thought plenty went wrong for him. He didn't break particularly well, raced a bit freely and didn't quite get home in the final 100 yards, but he shaped pretty well. I think he's expected to improve and be a lot better than this opening handicap mark. Certainly the support for him first time up was very significant. The yard in terrific form in the past week. Our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 3.20 at Newbury. The day's feature, the Group 1 Al Shakib lock-in stakes over a mile for four-year-olds and up as a Class 1. And Andrew Balding's Philly alcohol-free is the one to side with here at the morning prices. Now, this one was fairly easy to back. She was expected to be an odds-on favourite for her return in the Bet365 at Sandown last month. That warm Group 2 race looking ideal for her, but I think she was just short of a run in truth and she was parked widest of all throughout racing freely for the first four furlongs of the trip and rather flattening out up the hill, understandably, as lack of that recent run told. I think this will suit a lot better. Newbury be more her trap. They should go a decent pace here and she's got a smart turn of foot when she does settle. Rob Hornby booked on this occasion. The remaining five races on ITV, we'll do them in time order. Newbury the 135, the Carn- Carnarvon Stakes, a listed contest over six furlongs. Well, Aras was a typical Richard Hannon seasonal reappearer last time out at Ascot. He hadn't had a run for eight months. He was weak in the market and he didn't quite get home, but I thought he shaped quite well in a fair little race. There should be plenty more to come from him he's only had four career starts in a light campaign the 150 at Newmarket a very trappy listed contest for three year olds over a mile two I think the value might lie here with post impressionist trained by a genius William Haggis flying along as usual he on the face of it made hard work at air last time eh? he was three to one on um, he was ridden with patience I think there's one of those they knew he was going to win and they tried to educate him he wasn't that impressive but that might help with his price here he's stepping up in class and the key one mile two will definitely see he'll stay middle distances this summer for sure back to Newbury for the 210 the Al Ryan stakes group three over a mile four well Fox's tails um, is quirky like a lot of these Fox's horses of Andrew Boardings but he's a smooth traveller quickening ground or suit him ideal I thought he ran well at Sandown 22 days ago perhaps it was only a three runner race it might be a bit flattering and he is quirky off the bridle but I think he's got a good setup here and he made appeal at the prices the 225 at Newmarket a handicap over six furlongs well auditor I've got down as a sprinter to follow this summer and he ran a screamer when second first time out um, just in need of the run, perhaps running really well. He was duly heavily backed next time at Newbury. Sent off 3-1 to one joint favourite for the Spring Cup, but he was a little bit disappointing, um, perhaps given a negative ride. I think they'll be more positive on this occasion. He should go well. And finally... Back to Newmarket for the three o'clock, another handicap here. Will shine so bright, did betting expert follow us a real turn when winning at Newmarket last time. It has gone up a few pounds, but the talented claimer, Harry Davies, is back in the saddle. He is brilliant value for his seven pound claim. That's not going to last long and shine so bright can follow up. Best of luck with all seven ITV races on Saturday, betting experts.